we can say first from this equation we can say is that b is equal to minus c because I, if I bring this in the other side I can get b is equal to minus c this I can put in any of this equation to find uh, simultaneous equations so let's put them in the first and third equation this is my first equation second equation so from second equation I found that b is equal to minus c second equation and if I put this second equation in the first equation what do I get is uh, 1 minus 2a okay so I got one more relationship from the second equation is that uh, 2a plus 1c I'm bringing them all in this side is equal to 1 and my third equation says 1a minus 3b minus c is equal to 0 this is my third equation so if I put this in this equation I get it like 1a minus 3 and instead of b I'm putting the equation of 1 I'm putting this equation minus c minus c is equal to 0 and I'm putting this equation so I get a plus 3c minus c is equal to 0 a plus 2c is equal to 0 a is equal to minus 2c so what we have next is so we got this equation a is equal to minus 2c and now we have 2a plus c is equal to 1 so we have now we have from over here 2a plus c is equal to 1 and a let me put this equation a plus 2c is equal to 0 or better still I'll just directly put uh, I'm going to directly put I'm going to directly substitute a into this equation so 2 instead of a I'm going to put minus 2c plus c is equal to 1 minus 4c plus c is equal to 1 minus 3c is equal to 1 c is equal to minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 so now that I got for c I can get for a which is a is equal to minus 2 minus 1 by 3 which will be 2 over 3 and b is equal to what is b equal to? <clears throat> b is equal to minus c so b will be equal to 1 over 3 hello ok b is equal to 1 over 3 so uh, back to the first equation when I had this pi I'm going to copy this this is, this is what we were at the beginning I'm going to put it over here I'm going to put it over here this equation this was at the beginning we started with this now we have the values of a b and c our a is 2 over 3 B is 1 over 3 and C is minus 1 over 3. In other words, pi 1 is equal to T U A square rho over mu. I'm going to take this out. Just write this in a different format. Let me try something. And this is T. So this is going to be A 2 by 3, rho 1 by 3, and mu minus 1 over 3. That's my first equation. And now for the second equation, we have pi 2 I do this with diameter and I have my repeating variables a rho mu a, a b c and this will be 1 
which will be the dimensions L T zero zero zero. So I have D's length A is length over time square. B rho is meter mass per kilogram per meter cube. Mu is kilogram per meter second. So I think you guys are getting a hang of this. What we have to do is just, as we've done before again, equate the powers. So let's say for length we have 1 plus A minus 3B minus C is equal to 0. For time, we have minus 2a minus c is equal to 0, and for length mass, we have uh, minus 3b, uh, sorry, b plus c is equal to 0. So <coughs> this equation can be written as 2a is equal to minus c and this can be written as b is equal to minus c so we have r a a is equal to minus c by 2. So we have 1 taking this equation 1 plus minus c over 2 minus 3 minus c minus c is equal to 0. So we have 1 minus c over 2 plus 3c minus c is equal to 0. So 3c minus c is 2c, 2c minus half is 1.5. So 1 minus 3, 2. Right, last three by two. So three by two C is equal to minus one. C is equal to minus two by three. And uh, A is equal to minus C by two. Which gives me minus 2 over 3 or minus 2 plus s is out because we want to go through and we have b is equal to minus c so b is equal to minus once again I'm gonna cover this so as we've done last time let's let's put the value of a over here a is 1 over 3, B is 2 over 3, minus 2 over 3. So we have pi, the second pi is D. Yeah, D. What the? D A A rho square over mu square 1 over 3. So, this is my second pi. So let me write down, let me write these two pi's together. You can understand what's happening. So we have pi 2. We have pi 2. And let's copy the pi 1. Where's my pi 1? So I said that uh, this is a theory is that pi 1 is a function of pi 2. So we have 
D A row square sorry so you have this is equal to function of And that is my final answer. Let's check out if it's correct or not. Give me a second. <coughs> so I've just checked the <coughs> solution manual and this is the solution they have given. So let's see over here T T R which is basically T U, I couldn't see it well, is equal to rho A square by mu one by three is equal to F which is function of D uh, rho square A or mu square one by three. So basically that means we are right. So that's it we have so finishing now what we want I would like to say is that uh, as an engineer when you find these dimensions what you're going to do is that you're going to go to the lab and you have to find out the relationship between these two because there's a function over here and if we replace this function we'll have to put a constant to make it up for it so once we do all the calculations and everything we're going to find a constant over here and that will help us to find the true relationship between TU and D so thank you very much for watching, have a good time and good luck for your exams.